Tuesday morning. Andrew's just filling up now with, hopefully he'll finish spreading this today. This is his poly halite. So he's just loaded the spreader. Just trying to work out exactly how much we've got left. It doesn't look a lot, but it's dead heavy. There's probably about four or five ton left, maybe. We're just gonna, this is how quick you can load it without having plastic bags. Probably got, I don't know, equivalent of three bags worth in the bucket there. And then it just tips it straight in. Okay, yeah, the spreader holds about four tons, so we just want to fill it just so it's bang on. Put more than the fort on it, it leaps at you when you go over bumps. I bet there's nothing left in that bucket, is there? Tiny bit. Remember, so we were going to improve this gateway to this field. Well, Richard and James did it yesterday. Pulled out that bit of scrappy fence and some brambles. And there we go. We've now got a nice new gateway on a better bit of road. And then um, we can block up that other one there that's wet. And then we'll get a nice set, set of gates on here then. But the best thing about it is it's opposite the security lodge and the cameras for that factory. So hopefully we won't get the four wheel drives coming in at night. Do a lot of her coursing on this field when the corn's low because of the railway embankment. Look at this wheat though. Look at the height of that. It's a uh, good job here uh, putting some straw shorter on it. Just on this field of wheat now, well behind compared to that other field. I'm putting some micronutrients on it and some uh, manganese. You can see how wet it was when we drilled it. We had to keep taking the pressure off the drill just to keep the tractor moving. But if you look closely, it is all there just because the stubble's high. It looks awful from a distance. You can't even see it. But give it, give it a month, it'll look well different, hopefully. Bit of a wet hole still here. Just got back to the yard as Rob is wheeling the chip around, ready for doing some chipping today. And something little and cute has been delivered. You might see it now as we go around the bend. So it's a little solace tractor with a mower on. So we're going to try it because when we cut the dog fields, we try and do them in like the spur hour long slots and you struggle a little bit with the other mower, getting it done in, in the hour. So we got this to try with a little mower on the back that's a bit wider than the one, the other one. Plus it's got a bit more power. So John Bowles has brought it up for us and we're gonna go and try that tomorrow probably. I need a sign, sprayer parking only. Uh, Merlot's been left in my way, so move that and I can pull right up. You stand near, this looks the same size as that. We're going to tarmac this in a minute so lads have jet washed it all out now so that the, the new tarmac's got something to key in and andrew is over there playing with the little solace he's just been mowing up there by the plow i think he's going to come here and mow this bit you can see how how good it works andrew's happy it's got flashing beacon and LED lights <laughs> yeah feels nearly taller than it the OLC Okay. It's 
made up as well because it's got air conditioning. Uh, it's got a radio, yeah, with a remote control. Yeah, no, that's what he's just cut there. So it's doing a good job. So we'll see how we get on with it. Well, don't cut the rake down. There we go. Just needs GPS on it now. Get the line straight. Got another box of biscuits to take round because they've eaten all of them yesterday. I'm rationing them. I'll be taking a box out at a time. So I'm just patting his load down. I'm just pulling forwards. Got all his controls in here for his chipper. So this. Switches everywhere. Paul's here on the black scan, yeah, looking cool next to the black fence. So, we were supposed to be tarmacking today. We run the tarmac plan yesterday, told them what we wanted. He said, That's fine, we make that grade of tarmac all day. James rang them this morning, said what we wanted. He said, Yeah, make sure you're here by two o'clock. They got there at half one, they said, Oh no, you should have been here by half twelve. We can't make that for you now. It's too late in the day to make this particular grade of tarmac we need. And um, we were going to just get a little bit in a Merlot bucket because we needed something like a ton. And obviously the Merlot holds four tons. They're like, no, we can't put it in that either. You'll have to come back with a trailer. So we're going to have to borrow a little trailer now to try and go back tomorrow because the big trailer behind on the fence won't fit underneath the, um, the gantry that the tarmac falls out of. So yeah, best laid plans and all that. We won't be laying tarmac. In other news, the chipper seems to be working away merrily. Oh yeah, don't forget as well, these are on the website still if you want them for your tractors, especially now the weather is warming up and getting sunny. It's a shame about that tarmac really, because I was looking forward to using the new gateway. But another job for tomorrow now. This barley's looking good. Right by the river, still as anything. You see right across the closed fertilizer factory right up there to the control tower and actually that way well, you can't see now but behind me is the lighthouse which is looking great because they painted it last year so that's shining like a bright white in fact you'll see when I go around this next bend I'll be able to shine the camera back that way so over there is the lighthouse looking good this is the bit where the tide comes up the beans are over there as well we're going to have a look at them in a minute yeah, there's a lighthouse there. Then this is a field of beans, but look, can you see this building that's painted so it just blends in? It's good by, isn't it? So when you zoom out, it just kind of like disappears. Spraying this barley off and it's pretty decent, but then there's the odd tuft of brome in it. And then if you look here, there's this strip just there, it's about, I don't know, six or eight metres wide, going up the field. I presume it's spread out of this clump of trees, which is really annoying. Let's see, it's a, it's a barren brome, that, not sterile brome. Yeah, just kind of spoiling the field a little bit. Got one of the barley shoots, so I'm just splitting it open now. I'll just pull it apart and show you. I'll just pull that out the middle now of this straw. So quite a long head the grain starting to form now and obviously the whiskers it's quite long to be honest so hopefully when that fills out be the nice big heads on it that will do we want plenty of yield so this tank full 140 acres now reading zero and it is just running out as I get to the end that's what we like from this angle can't really see anything but down here the beans are up in rows. Someone's eating that one though. But yeah, look quite good. And then this is the headland that was drilled with the Claydon drill. And again, a bit hard to see because the drills overlap a little bit here. If we go down a bit, you can see this in rows as well. 
so there's the rose there. They look like they need a good drink now, so I don't know when we're going to get that. Keeps forecasting rain every day, but we're not actually getting it. So, with it will the end of the week, we'll see. That looks a beast. Check out the reg. Check out the company. Good idea, that, isn't it? Just on my way back from spraying, and I've called on Joe. He wants a smart box in the front of this, if you're watching Mr. Smart Box Man doing the deal. Because <laughs> so, the 900 weight block isn't big enough. Well, how fast are you going? 12k? 12k. There's the spuds dropping in the bottom there. You can't really see, can you? Because they're, they're so fast. They just planted these spuds. Gordon's there, de -stoning. Yeah, I've got to keep moving, but I'll try and come back and get a, get a bit more of a close-up video of them planting spuds um, at the end of the week. I don't even think I filmed it, but you might have seen our 7, 7, 7 8, 30 is on the trailer, so they need that many tractors. We've got one working ground, one making the beds, one de-stoning, one planting, and then one on the trailer moving this stuff about, and the telly on the It's a pretty machinery-intensive planting spuds. I just pulled back in the yard and I thought, oh, the, the ladder will miss the brush and I can pull right forward. But they just caught it right on the corner there, on that. It's like, oh. It's got a little bit of a bend there now. Probably a lot of people cut the bottom step off so they don't catch on the floor. Maybe I should do that now. Just quickly do the birthday bumpers. We've got Francis Coleman, he's 57. Gareth Mall is 41. Susie Wong. Dave Burke and Rory Court is one. Happy birthday, everyone on there. £32,821. If it is your birthday and you're not on there, happy birthday also. The general consensus is that we do need to jump this, but we've just not had time. When we get time, we will do it. This is today's quiz question. You can see better now the spread has been washed off. What is this for here? You can know, let me know in the comments on the side of the disc. Look kind of similar size, really. Um, Obviously this doesn't have aircon though, but this does. So we'll have a proper look round this tomorrow perhaps. Video's gone on a bit long today. Actually, there's two quiz questions today. Going looking at something tomorrow. Starts with a plane. See if you can guess. Andrew's given that a good wash off now because we won't be using it for a few days until some more fertilizer arrives. We're getting in bulk. That is about all for today's video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow.